Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making an absolutely delicious treat, or at least I hope so. This is the first time I'm making it and I'm kind of winging it and we all know how that goes. So stay tuned. Enjoy. So we're going to be making a mint Oreo shake and this is based off of the shamrock shake at McDonald's, which is delicious, but just something about buying from a huge corporation that just makes me feel gross inside. So I wanted to try and recreate it to the best of my abilities with somewhat healthier ingredients. So here we go. So as a base, I'm going to be using Halo Top ice cream. This is just the vanilla bean. So it's 290 calories for this whole pint. And for my keto folks, this has boo, 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 eight, six, keto math. You know how it goes. And it's actually still quite a bit. <laughs> I think it's like 17 so maybe not keto friendly but I know you can buy keto friendly ingredients if you want to make this keto friendly so I'm just gonna throw this whole bad boy into my food processor Ooh, it's hard Whew, that was definitely the hardest part wow but it's all in there now so next I'm gonna be adding in some more vanilla extracts which I don't have much left in this one. So let me see here. So this is about a half cap full that I have left. So I'm gonna put that in there. And of course the important part is the mint extract. And I'm gonna be probably doing a full cap full of this. Whew. That is some strong stuff, wow. Next I'm gonna be adding in some green food color and this is just for color, this isn't necessary at all, so if you don't want to do this, by all means, do not do it. So I'm really going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four drops, and we'll see how that does. Now I'm going to be adding in just a little touch of oat milk. This is unsweetened original. I'm sure it would probably taste better if you use sweetened, but this is what we have. So I don't really have a measurement for this. I would say probably start with like one fourth to a half cup. All right, now I'm going to mix it up in the food processor and try and get it as creamy as possible. I think four drops of food coloring was actually perfect. So now we're almost done, but the last step is to of course add in our Oreos and I didn't want to buy a whole package of them. So I just got one of these small individual containers and I think I'm going to start with just half of this container first and just see how dispersed that gets. And then I'll go from there. And I think that these are small enough that I shouldn't have to break them up first. So I'm just going to dump them in and hope for the best and back to the food processor. This is looking so good. So I think I am going to end up using the rest of the cookies, but what I'm going to do is crush them up by hand and mix them in and then top it. And here they are finished. That was actually super fast and I'm really excited. I really want to try these, but I made two of them because I'm going to give one to Jordan too. So why don't we just try them together? Here's your spoon. Ready? Oh, I'm making it. <laughs> today this turned out really well I really didn't have a plan in place this was all just just experimenting <laughs> this seriously tastes so good I'm sure it's only marginally better than if you were to just buy it from McDonald's but this really isn't hard to make and I highly recommend it if you enjoyed this video and you're gonna make this for yourself leave me a thumbs up if you have not already please subscribe to my channel because that would make me really happy and that being said guys I will see you the next time around